And then the next question is, where, what location is that uh, discomfort? And then in, in Michelle's situation, it's the lower left. Yes. And then the next question is, so the crack is on the, on the distal of number 18, mm -hmm. right there, right? And there's also a crack on the distal of number 19, right there. And then she just... didn't ask how much is it going to cost. Because you know why? Because she's not going to be paying for this. Okay. You know, so we're going to go through the process of trying to figure out if there is a crack on the tooth. Now we've got a model here. Actually, she's been complaining to me because Michelle Palos, <laughs> all of you guys know, is my wife. And every day she's asking me, always asking me, could you check my tooth? Could you check my tooth? I think it's cracked. So that, that, that's what we're going to do today because no, we're talking chip about, filling, I think. okay, maybe ch chip filling because of, this is basically just what patients call in for. So even if you're a dentist's wife, you still could have dental problems. So with, with her situation, she's thinking she's cracked a tooth or what, what you, you cracked Broke the filling? The filling. I okay. So one of the things that I ask is like, why are you calling us? Well, for her, she didn't have to call us because she <laughs> she just tells me, you know, I think I cracked a tooth. But patients will call and say, I think I cracked a tooth. I think I, I, I broke a filling. And in, in, in Michelle's situation, go ahead and what, what, what was your complaint? It's back here and it's sharp. Okay. So her complaint is that she's got a tooth on the lower left that is sharp. So now what other complaint do you have? That's it, it's sharp, it's different. Okay, so different from before. So here are my questions is, uh, and when, when somebody calls on the phone, they will say, uh, I would like to make an appointment. The question is, what would the appointment be for? And then the appointment would be because of, I cracked a tooth or there's pain. And then the next question is, where, what location is that uh, discomfort? And then in, in Michelle's situation, it's the lower left. Yes. And then the next question in, would, that we have to ask is, how long has that been? How long, or when did you notice that you have a crack? Or do you, when did you notice that you had a, a symptoms? When did you notice that you had pain? When did you notice that you cracked the tooth? When did you notice that you chipped the tooth? When did you notice that? Three days ago. That's three days ago. So now the other question is, it, the last three days, has it been getting worse or stays the same or getting better? Stays the same. So it's the same. So that's good. So that she did not even come to the dental office today because it's not getting any better. I mean, it's not getting any worse. So so an immediate, uh, immediate dental um, appointment would be, it's getting worse. I can't sleep. And, and, and I need to come in because of it's swelling. That person needs to be seen immediately. So if if uh, if we ask those questions, and, and in this situation, it's not an emergency. It's basically a situation where she, what, cracked the tooth? I think just uh, filling. Cracked okay. The filling. So we're still going to find out, is this tooth cracked or, or the filling cracked or part of the tooth cracked? So we'll, we'll go and see what, so what we will do is we're either going to take an x-ray of it, we're going to go ahead and take a photo of this situation, we're definitely going to make sure that we're looking at that tooth so that we could assess which tooth and, and what we can do to go ahead and make sure that the patient's not complaining after today, right? So I'll have Dr. Pham take a look and see and we'll take a photo. All right, so what we're looking at is a crack here. No, go ahead. Yeah, there you go. Right, and then put go back and then show the whole thing right there. Uh, there you go. So she's complaining about right here. Yeah. But then you can see the other crack, right? Mm -hmm. What was that on the side? Oh, that's just a filling. Yeah. That's what she's complaining about. But then, but then you can see the other crack. Now take a picture. Of, oh, you are cracking teeth, Michelle. Right. Why are you cracking teeth? You're stressed out. So what you're looking at is we're taking a photo. We can surely take an X-ray, and then what? What are you doing now, Doctor Pham? So we're gonna take a photo of the crack. Okay. And then we're gonna take a photo of the 
stealing the two. So the crack is on the on the distal of number eighteen, mm -hmm. right there, right? And there's also a crack on the distal of number nineteen, right there. And then you can see that on the photo. Okay. And then, the, but her chief complaint is actually on the buckle surface, right there. That buckle surface. That's her. That that is your. Yeah. That's her chief complaint. It's not even the crack. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here, go to bring her up. Okay, so now, if, 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 you are, if you are a patient, uh, Michelle Paulos, what are the questions that you're asking? What, what, go ahead and ask the question of whatever question that you would have. So what can I do with that? Now it's these teeth, two teeth. I thought it's just one. Okay, so what, uh, no, what's your question? What would be a question of you asked? What am I going to do next yes. to save my teeth? Okay, and what other question do you have? That's it. Yeah, but then see, since you're... What's the best, what's the best treatment for these teeth? Okay, that's a good question. I get that question a lot too. Now, what other question do you have? If this was your teeth, what would you do? Okay, oh, oh very nice. <laughs> okay, what other question do you have? That's all. <laughs> yeah, you know, one thing about you, since you're a dentist's wife, you know what you didn't ask? Is this your wife? Is this your wife? <laughs> it's your wife. What's no, no, no. Doing? No, but then, yeah, I get that. But you know, since, you're a, you, you, since you work at a dental office, and, and, and then you're a dentist's wife, you know what you didn't ask? Yeah, how much is it going to cost? <laughs> yes. You know what? Since, uh, what I'm saying is, is since I'm the one that owns this office, and she actually works here. She didn't ask how much is it gonna cost. Because you know why? Because she's not gonna be paying for this. If, 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 um, if this is a patient, the choices are no treatment because the crack is there uh, and it's not necessarily the symptomatic part that she's complaining about. But if it's symptomatic, the tooth could be crowned if that's all it needs and then if the symptom goes away that's all it would need if the tooth is symptomatic that it's painful non-stop most of the time it's going to require a root canal if it's savable and if it's not savable it's going to require an extraction but you notice and she's a dentist's wife and she works at a dental office she didn't ask how much is it going to cost but that is the main question that we get. How much is this going to cost? Very big question.